So today we're going to work on the chute. This can be a very scary obstacle for a lot of dogs, especially Italian Greyhounds, and they don't like the fact that the fabric is cold or wet. I have it both cold and wet today, and uh, we start by teaching her to run through the hoop here at the end. Um, the chute is open, the fabric is on the ground. The target will be her toy at the end, and then pretty soon I'll be throwing it. Then we'll prop up the chute fabric onto the, onto the hoop and slowly lower the fabric. I don't like to have somebody hold the fabric because sometimes dogs don't like that intrusion as they come out of the chute. Oh my God, there's somebody standing there and they couldn't see them. So they kind of get an aversion to coming out. So the object is, number one, to teach them to run straight, that they don't need somebody to help them, that they'll do it independently, and that they don't roll the chute, which means they're gonna run straight through. And you'll see that she'll actually learn to put her head down as she goes. So we have her favorite toy, bunny fur, and we're gonna use that as, as her target. Come here, you missy. So, right there's her bunny. We're on the fabric. Good girl, excellent job. Ooh, what is that? Good girl, let them, let, it, let them sniff it if they want to. That's all the better. Good girl. Very cool. I take to train my own dogs on the chute after experience 
experience of having failure after failure, scared dogs, hesitant dogs. This is what I've come up with in order to train my shoe. First thing I did was I got um, hoop holders or hoop stakes and I happened to purchase mine uh, from Action Canine Sports in Sun City, California. Uh, but you can purchase these just about anywhere. It's just a metal um, metal stake with a holder for some uh, three-quarter or half-inch irrigation tubing. You can go down to the uh, local department store, Home Depot, whatever, purchase your, your irrigation tubing, and you can just get some mini stakes or some uh, nine-inch or eight-inch screws, uh, and you can just put those into the ground. It will hold the PVC just fine. Next step is to go through the steps on how to put it in. Now, my chute I purchased from affordableagility.com, and it already has rivets in the bottom, perfectly spaced for my dogs. Now, um, if you don't want to purchase a new chute, you can buy riveting, uh, riveting kits at your local hardware store. Um, what I do is I make sure that the rivets are perfectly straight out from the chute, and then I make sure that I put my stakes in there so it's nice and tight. I actually put it in a little bit at an angle this way because the pressure of the chute is going to pull it up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. The next step is to pull your fabric up and nice and taut on the top. And I just use three three regular clips. Okay, I make sure that nothing is going to be pointing down into the dog's face. So once I clip it on there, I'm going to flip it up. That way nothing is pointing down in the dog's face. Flip it up. Okay, and then I'm going to pull it fairly tight on either side and pull up all of the, all of the slack. So here's my slack. I've pulled it as tight as I can. I'm going to pull up that slack and wrap it around the pole and clip. Again, make sure that your clip is not in the shoot area. Now the dog has a perfect view out and does have the fact that the fabric is there. The next step, once your dog is quickly moving through here, remember that what you're seeing on my video is spliced takes. It takes her a while to build her confidence on each of these steps, but I don't change anything until I see the result of what I want her shoot to look like. Then I move to the next step. So the next step is to actually push it in and give it a little bit of slack. Okay, so now my, now my chute has some fabric. My dog can still see through it, but they have to push it a little bit to get it. Again, some more, push it. Now my dog is pushing through and has, they no longer has light through it, but has learned that they have a per perfectly straight exit. Then what I do is I pull it back up again. You may have to restake it. Again, this is probably gonna take week, a week or two to do anyways. I take the top one off and I pull the fabric over the top, and I'm going to take up the slack. Now it's very important that you give your dog enough room to get through. If they have too much tension on the on the chute fabric, they will not go through. Okay, so if you've got a big dog, obviously doing it the way that I did with Zelda, this tight is not going to work. Okay, your golden retriever or your lab is not going to be able to get through that slack. So what I do is I just take up enough of the slack for your dog with a little bit of an exit so they can see where they're going but can still get through. Again, make sure that the clips are not in their face. My dog still has plenty of room to get through and she can push it at the same time. Once my dog can do that, my dog has a nice straight chute, isn't rolling the fabric from one side towards the other. You can now remove it. And your dog is ready to go. Now, when you watch Zelda's last one, she comes straight down the middle of the fabric. She's not looking to side to side because I've always thrown her, t her toy straight out. She has no reason to curl into me and I don't want to teach her to do that. I don't want my little dog getting wrapped up in the chute fabric because she curls it. That's it. Good luck and I hope everybody has a successful chute training. <laughs> Action.